Working from home. All the cool kids are doing it these days and chances are whether you like it or not, you're one of the cool kids. At some point in your day, you're probably gonna end up on a Zoom meeting, a GoTo meeting, a Google Hangout chat meet thing. And uh, one of the nice things you could do for people on those calls with you is provide them with good audio. There's nothing like one of those calls where you're like, ah, I can't hear so well, and you sound a bit muffled. Uh, can you speak closer to the microphone? Are you using headphones? Today, we're going to have a look at uh, what I consider to be a very, very well-priced cardioid mic, which is USB ready, straight into your laptop, and off you go. Now, of course, it doesn't just have to be about video conferencing. It could be that you need a microphone like this for uh, affordable podcasting. Maybe you're doing some video voiceovers, some sort of audio recordings, maybe some teaching, uh, and you need to lay down some audio to accompany uh, presentations and things because you're working remotely uh, and it just makes it a heck of a lot easier. This is the Tonor TC777. Now, this has been sent to me by them uh, to try it out. And uh, that's probably because uh, they think I'm cool. But um, if that wasn't true, then why would they send it to me? For under 40 bucks, you get really what is a ready to go plug and play cardioid microphone. If you don't feel technical, you don't even know what a cardioid microphone is, that's okay, don't worry about it. Um, at a high level, um, this doesn't really need any technical knowledge. When you receive the box, if I can, oh, I'm always bad at this. When you receive the box, Included in here is a very straightforward multilingual guide that even includes nice little pictures of uh, what you're going to do on your Mac or your PC to set this up to make it work. Now, what comes in the box? Well, in the box is pretty much everything you can see in front of me here. You've got a pop stopper. If you've never really seen a pop stopper other than on really cool MTV videos with people singing in the studio, it's basically a pair of nylons that's uh, stretched between some sort of uh, circle. You could do square, it doesn't really matter. The point of it is to stop the p, 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 the pushes of air into the microphone, making the microphone pop. So this is uh, included with it, which is great. It screws on very easily onto this um, uh, adjustable crane. There's a word for it and I'm missing it right now, but you know what I mean. It's uh, pliable, adjustable, wire thing um, so that allows you to position it in front of the mic um, perfect for what you're going to be doing it also comes with like a wind stopper which is another kind of pop stopper which you can have over the microphone um, so that you can either get right down on it like this as if you're talking in a radio show also good if there's wind so if you're outside just like you've seen reporters use it will cut down on the wind noise running uh, across the mic especially for cardioids because they're a bit more sensitive um, than a lot of other microphones it comes pre-loaded in its own tripod which has um, uh, what uh, is quite nice with uh, you know some of the studio cardioids that you'll see um, they have oh it's going to drop it um, spring-loaded um, quite strong elastic bands and things to hold them and so if there is any movement it's not severe and it's not sharp there's no scraping there's no noise with that motion uh, with uh, the tone ore, even at the price that it is it does come um, already mounted uh, with some pretty much just really strong rubber bands again to stop any uh, unwanted noise from coming in and making that move so it comes pre-mounted uh, the only thing I've done is screwed on this pop stopper it has a foldable tripod stand so you just fold out the feet he says making it look easy and there you go and then you can adjust the angle of the microphone to however you'd like now with a cardioid mic uh, such as this, you're going to be wanting to speak into the side that has the uh, logo on it because it's going to be picking up. I'm finding this difficult. It's going to be picking up sound signal a little bit like this around the front, a little bit around the sides, touch at the back. If you want to, you can actually screw the base off, the tripod off, and this bracket and mount will easily fit 
to uh, any kind of desk arm kind of microphone stand that you might use so that you could you know bring in that microphone have it hanging right here just be speaking into it or, or, or anything similar to that and then it's a USB cable which runs straight into your computer so within literally two minutes okay 30 seconds to screw that on you can angle that in front of your microphone plug in the USB open system preferences on your Mac change your input microphone to this which is all included in the instructions book and you're good to go good hardware ready to go plug and play great for the price how does it sound more importantly so what I thought we'd do because obviously you know I'm really kind of talking to a lot of people out there that are at home that you know don't really want to use a headset maybe or they would just like uh, better audio for calls or maybe they do want to start doing some podcasting at home uh, seeing as they've got a lot of spare time uh, in their home offices uh, let's uh, give this a try with my MacBook Pro. We'll try out the open air mic on the MacBook compared to what it would be like using this. Of course, the result we're hoping for is that the MacBook would probably sound uh, a little bit uh, thinner, a little bit tinnier, maybe a little bit uh, harsher. And from a microphone like this, I would probably expect that you're gonna get a slightly fuller sound, a little bit more bottom end, but warmer all around. And then maybe I'll even uh, pick up the guitar and have a little pluck the strings into it and just see how that sounds as well. It's about now that I realize with these experiments that I meant to say something intelligent for the audio tests. Uh, as I say, this is running just the internal mic and I feel like doe a deer, a female deer. By now, you should have noticed that the audio quality, even from my Rode Video Micro, Ray, a drop of golden sun, is running much similar in terms of you know, clarity with the voice, but the microphone on here is probably sounding quite thin. I think that's enough. Uh, three blind mice. Now I'm running the Tonor USB microphone, and what they say in the instructions is that it's good to increase your audio input to about 75%. Obviously, the closer I get to the microphone, the louder my voice will be, puff the magic dragon. If I lean it a little bit, it might be a little bit too overwhelming. So what I've done is I've set the microphone at about 30 uh, centimeters away from me. And this is probably where I'd quite like to uh, have it uh, when I'm on a call. Ideally, you've already noticed that the sound should be warmer, a little bit deeper. Uh, and so if not for video conferencing, where you may not find it super important, you might find as a podcaster, this is a really great option to get you off the ground. As I say, for the price, um, I've already done this test once just to make sure I didn't make a fool of myself. I thought, actually, that's quite a respectable sound. Maybe it'd be quite fun as well to maybe just try recording a little instrumentation and see how it sounds. Because there's probably a few of you out there that are probably thinking, hey, maybe I could... Um, you know, do a little bit of home recording with this. How does it sound? It's kind of nighttime here, so I don't want to sing too loud and wake up the whole family. It's not late, but the kids are in bed, so. <clears throat> There's a lady who sure all that glitters is gold, and she's by in a stairway. If you could only see the way she loves me, maybe you'd understand why I feel this way about how love, what I must do. For the price, I think the audio is really quite good. If you're going to be looking at upgrading, you know, once you get over the $100 mark, then you should expect uh, a lot more fine detail and nuance in a microphone of that price. Uh, but a lot of people for what you're going to be using it for may not need that. Uh, so I, I think it's a great little unit. Uh, again, just because it is so easy, just to unbox, plug in and off you go. Uh, even just for a little bit of <laughs> average guitar playing and uh, and uh, very average singing. I think you know if you if you had a you know took a little bit of time with it, you could you could produce quite a good sound out of that as well. If you've got any questions, 
fire them in the comments below. Uh, like and subscribe if it was helpful for you. And uh, stay safe out there. I look forward to talking to you about lots of other stuff we've got coming up uh, in the next uh, few weeks. Take care, stay safe, bye for now.